Hinayana is a Sanskrit term literally meaning the inferior vehicle. Tibetan teachers translate it smaller vehicle. The term was applied to the Sravakayana, the Buddhist path followed by a Sravaka who wished to become an Arhat. This pejorative term appeared around the 1st or 2nd century. Hinayana was often contrasted with Mahayana, which means the great vehicle. In 1950 the World Fellowship of Buddhists declared that the term Hinayana should not be used when referring to any form of Buddhism existing today. In the past, the term was widely used by Western scholars to cover the earliest system of Buddhist doctrine, as the Monier Williams Sanskrit English Dictionary put it. Modern Buddhist scholarship has deprecated the pejorative term, and uses instead the term Nikaya Buddhism to refer to early Buddhist schools. Hinayana has also been used as a synonym for Theravada, which is the main tradition of Buddhism in Sri Lanka and Southeast Asia. This is considered inaccurate and derogatory. Robert Thurman writes, Nikaya Buddhism is a coinage of Professor Masatoshi Nagatomi of Harvard University, who suggested it to me as a usage for the 18 schools of Indian Buddhism to avoid the term Hinayana Buddhism, which is found offensive by some members of the Theravada tradition. Within Mahayana Buddhism, there were a variety of interpretations as to whom or to what the term Hinayana referred. Kalu Rinpoche stated the lesser or greater designation did not refer to economic or social status, but concerned the spiritual capacities of the practitioner." The small vehicle is based on becoming aware of the fact that all we experience in samsara is marked by suffering. Being aware of this engenders the will to rid ourselves of this suffering, to liberate ourselves on an individual level, and to attain happiness. We are moved by our own interest. Renunciation and perseverance allow us to attain our goal. The Chinese monk Yijing, who visited India in the 7th century, distinguished Mahayana from Hinayana as follows. Both adopt one and the same Vinaya, and they have in common the prohibitions of the five offenses, and also the practice of the four noble truths. Those who venerate regard with great respect the Bodhisattvas and read the Mahayana Sutras are called the Mahayanists, while those who do not perform these are called the Hinayanists. Etymology. <inaudible> 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 The word Hinayana is formed of Hina, little, poor, inferior, abandoned, deficient, defective, and Yana, yana vehicle, where vehicle means a way of going to enlightenment. The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary 1921 defines Hina in even stronger terms, with a semantic field that includes poor, miserable, vile, base, abject, contemptible, and despicable. The term was translated by Kumarajiva and others into classical Chinese as small vehicle, xiao meaning small, shang meaning vehicle, although earlier and more accurate translations of the term also exist. In Mongolian Baga Holgan, the term for Hinayana also means small or lesser. Vehicle, while in Tibetan there are at least two words to designate the term, Theg Chung meaning small vehicle, and Theg D man meaning inferior vehicle, or inferior spiritual approach. Thrangu Rinpoche has emphasized that Hinayana is in no way implying inferior. In his translation and commentary of Asanga's Distinguishing Dharma from Dharmata, he writes. All three traditions of Hinayana, Mahayana, and Vajrayana were practiced in Tibet and that the Hinayana which literally means lesser vehicle, is in no way inferior to the Mahayana. Origins <inaudible> 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 According to Jan Natier, it is most likely that the term Hinayana postdates the term Mahayana and was only added at a later date due to antagonism and conflict between the Bodhisattva and Sravaka ideals. The sequence of terms then began with the term Bodhisattvayana, Bodhisattva vehicle, which was given the epithet Mahayana, Great Vehicle. It was only later, after attitudes toward the Bodhisattva teachings had become more critical, that the term Hinayana was created as a back formation, contrasting with the already established term Mahayana. 
The earliest Mahayana texts often use the term Mahayana as an epithet and synonym for Bodhisattvayana, but the term Hinayana is comparatively rare in early texts, and is usually not found at all in the earliest translations. Therefore, the often perceived symmetry between Mahayana and Hinayana can be deceptive, as the terms were not actually coined in relation to one another in the same era, according to Paul Williams. The deep-rooted misconception concerning an unfailing, ubiquitous fierce criticism of the lesser vehicle by the Mahayana is not supported by our texts." Williams states that while evidence of conflict is present in some cases, there is also substantial evidence demonstrating peaceful coexistence between the two traditions. <laughs> Mahayana members of the early Buddhist schools Although the 18–20 early Buddhist schools are sometimes loosely classified as Hinayana in modern times, this is not necessarily accurate. There is no evidence that Mahayana ever referred to a separate formal school of Buddhism but rather as a certain set of ideals, and later doctrines. Paul Williams has also noted that the Mahayana never had nor ever attempted to have a separate Vinaya or ordination lineage from the early Buddhist schools, and therefore Bhiksus and Bhiksunas adhering to the Mahayana formally adheres to the Vinaya of an early school. This continues today with the Dharmaguptaka ordination lineage in East Asia and the Malasarvastavada ordination lineage in Tibetan Buddhism. Mahayana was never a separate sect of the early schools. From Chinese monks visiting India, we now know that both Mahayana and non Mahayana monks in India often lived in the same monasteries side by side. The Chinese Buddhist monk and pilgrim Yijing wrote about the relationship between the various vehicles and the early Buddhist schools in India. He wrote, There exist in the West numerous subdivisions of the schools which have different origins, but there are only four principal schools of continuous tradition. These schools are the Mahasamgika Nikaya, Stavira Nikaya, Malasarvastavada Nikaya, and Samadhya Nikaya. Explaining their doctrinal affiliations, he then writes, "...which of the four schools should be grouped with the Mahayana or with the Hinayana is not determined." That is to say, there was no simple correspondence between a Buddhist school and whether its members learn Hinayana or Mahayana teachings, to identify entire schools as Hinayana that contained not only Sravakas and Pratyekabuddhas but also Mahayana Bodhisattvas would be attacking the schools of their fellow Mahayanists as well as their own. Instead, what is demonstrated in the definition of Hinayana given by Yijing is that the term referred to individuals based on doctrinal differences. <laughs> <laughs> Hinayana as Sravakayana Scholar Isabel Onians asserts that although the Mahayana very occasionally referred to earlier Buddhism as the Hinayana, the inferior way. The preponderance of this name in the secondary literature is far out of proportion to occurrences in the Indian texts. She notes that the term Sravakayana was the more politically correct and much more usual term used by Mahayanists. Jonathan Silk has argued that the term Hinayana was used to refer to whomever one wanted to criticize on any given occasion, and did not refer to any definite grouping of Buddhists. <inaudible> Hinayana and Theravada <inaudible> <inaudible> Views of Chinese pilgrims In the 7th century, the Chinese Buddhist monk Zanzong describes the concurrent existence of the Mahavihara and the Abhyagiri Vihara in Sri Lanka. He refers to the monks of the Mahavihara as the Hinayana Staviras and the monks of Abhyagiri Vihara as the Mahayana Staviras. Zanzong further writes, The Mahaviharavasins reject the Mahayana and practice the Hinayana, while the Abhyagiraviharavasins study both Hinayana and Mahayana teachings and propagate the Tripit aka. Philosophical <laughs> differences <laughs> 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 Mahayanists were primarily in philosophical dialectic with the Vaibhasika school of Sarvastivada, which had by far the most comprehensive edifice of doctrinal systematics of the Nikaya schools. With this in mind it is sometimes argued that the Theravada would not have been considered a Hinayana 
School by Mahayanists because, unlike the now extinct Sarvastivada school, the primary object of Mahayana criticism, the Theravada school does not claim the existence of independent dharmas, in this it maintains the attitude of early Buddhism. Additionally, the concept of the bodhisattva as one who puts off enlightenment rather than reaching awakening as soon as possible, has no roots in Theravada textual or cultural contexts, current or historical. Aside from the Theravada schools being geographically distant from the Mahayana, the Hinayana distinction is used in reference to certain views and practices that had become found within the Mahayana tradition itself. Theravada, as well as Mahayana schools stress the urgency of one's own awakening in order to end suffering. Some contemporary Theravadan figures have thus indicated a sympathetic stance toward the Mahayana philosophy found in the Heart Sutra and the Mulamadamakakarika. The Mahayanists were bothered by the substantialist thought of the Sarvastivadins and Sautrantikins, and in emphasizing the doctrine of sunyata, David Kalupahana holds that they endeavored to preserve the early teaching. The Theravadins too refuted the Sarvastivadins and Sautrantikins and followers of other schools on the grounds that their theories were in conflict with the non substantialism of the canon. The Theravada arguments are preserved in the Kathavathu. Topic. Opinions of scholars Most Western scholars regard the Theravada school to be one of the Hinayana schools referred to in Mahayana literature, or regard Hinayana as a synonym for Theravada. These scholars understand the term to refer to schools of Buddhism that did not accept the teachings of the Mahayana sutras as authentic teachings of the Buddha. At the same time, scholars have objected to the pejorative connotation of the term Hinayana and some scholars do not use it for any school. Topic. Notes Topic. Bibliography Analayo the Hinayana Fallacy, Journal of the Oxford Centre for Buddhist Studies 6, 9–31 Romila Thapar, Early India from the Origins to AD 1300 Penguin, 2001 Tsongkhapa, The Great Treatise on the Stages of the Path to Enlightenment, Snowlion, 2000 Paul Williams, Mahayana Buddhism, Routledge, 1989 Andrew Skilton, Concise History of Buddhism. Windhorse, 1999 Donald Lopez, The H Word Tricycle, The Buddhist Review, Fall 1995, pp. 84-85 R.S. Cohen, "'Discontented Categories, Hinayana and Mahayana in Indian History", Journal of the American Academy of Religion, 63 1-25, 1 1995 Ryukin Kimura, A Historical Study of the Terms Hinayana and Mahayana and the Origin of Mahayana Buddhism, Indological Book Corp., 1978 a note on the use of the word Hinayana underscore Sharma underscore EBS underscore 1976 The meaning of Hinayana in Northern Chan underscore Zushner underscore EBS underscore 1978 Topic. External links Theravada, Mahayana Buddhism. Dr. W. Rahula's article Mahayana, Hinayana, Theravada introduced by Bin Hansen, webmaster of Buddhasasana, www.budsas.org.